Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Monday, April 3rd, 2023. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. The Honorable Mark Brantley, Premier of Nevis and leader of the Concerned Citizens Movement, CCM, honored the memory of former Premier of Nevis, the late His Excellency Vance Emery, on Sunday, April 2nd. The Nevis Island Administration's Cabinet laid a wreath and said a prayer at the gravesite. Sunday marked one year since his passing on April 2nd, 2022. His Excellency Vance Avery was the founder and leader of the political party CCM, the youngest and longest serving Premier of Nevis, serving in the office from 1992 to 2006 and 2013 to 2017. His contributions to Nevis include sourcing funding for the construction of the Nevis Performing Arts Center, NEPAC, the promotion of industry and commerce, the development of the manufacturing sector, the industrial sites at Pinney's Estate and Prospect Estate, the promotion of tourism education, and introduction of the Medical University of the Americas to Nevis. The government of the Republic of China, Taiwan, through its embassy in Bastyr, handed over a check valued at 250,000 U.S. dollars to the federal government of St. Kitts and Nevis on March 31st. The funding will go towards the Pinnis Beach Sustainable Tourism Enhancement Project in Nevis. The check was presented by His Excellency Michael Lin, a resident ambassador of the Republic of China, Taiwan to St. Kitts and Nevis, to the Honorable Dr. Terence Drew, Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis. Also in attendance was the Honorable Mark Brantley, Premier and Minister of Tourism in Nevis. The funds will be disbursed for use by the Nevis Island Administration. The presentation marked the second tranche of funds presented to the St. Kitts and Nevis government, earmarked for the Pinnis Beach Sustainable Tourism and Enhancement Project. The Cabinet of the Nevis Island Administration has taken a decision to close the Office of the Opposition. Premier and Minister of Finance, the Honorable Mark Brantley, made that announcement at his Tuesday, March 28th press conference. The difficulty, ladies and gentlemen and members of the public, that we found ourselves in is that we now had two members of the Opposition. One from the NRP, the other who had been suspended from the NRP and who was now an independent member. Both were essentially saying that they had the right to that office of the opposition. And so we had a letter from the leader of the NRP, Dr. Daniel Hodge, indicating that all courtesies of that office should be extended to her. Clearly, the taxpayers have no ability to pay for two offices. And since it seemed that the two members of the opposition could not come to any consensus, we wrote on the 20th of March to them both, indicating that we were forced to close the office until such time as clarity could be achieved. And so that office, we regret to advise, we have indicated it will be closed as of the 30th of April. I hope that the press and members of the public will understand why we have had to take this decision. And I stand here today ready and willing to resume some arrangement if and when the members of the opposition can get their house in order and can indicate to us how it is that they expect to manage these resources, bearing in mind that these are resources from the taxpayers of the island of Nevis. Premier and Minister of Finance, the Honorable Mark Brantley. Still to come, NIA Cabinet visits Apsara's Calypso Development in St. James. The details after this break. Truly, one of the few places that has an untouched beauty that has captivated the hearts of many. Nevis is everything you imagine. Welcome back. 
The cabinet of the Davis Island administration was recently invited to visit the Apsaras Calypso development in St. James's Parish. The multi-million dollar foreign direct investment is expected to aid the government in boosting and expanding the local economy by offering various opportunities for doing business to the residents of Nevis. I know many people were curious about this development and so we brought uh, NTV here to have a look at it. We're very impressed with the level of investment thus far and uh, we hope to see this project completed very soon uh, to generate some jobs and generate some activity in this area. Uh, I think that uh, Nevis and Nevisians will be very proud of this project and, and what we've been able to do here. Using new technology, different building techniques, but still very beautiful. And so we look forward to that and to the other components of this project as you build it out. And thank you for choosing Nevis and choosing to invest in Nevis. And uh, we actually do tell other people to come and invest as well. That's what we're looking for. More investment, more jobs as we move Nevis forward. So thank you for having all of us. And uh, we look forward to coming back when you have the grand opening here at Apsaras. Thank you very much for the whole cabinet of Nevis coming to here. Uh, we are really welcome and appreciate all of you are coming here. And thank you for the help and thank you for coming. And uh, we will we continue to work with the Nevis government as well. Thank you very much. Premier Brantley says he was especially pleased to learn of the agricultural component of the project with the expectation it will contribute significantly to food sovereignty in Nevis and the wider federation. The Davis Electricity Company Limited Nevlek continues to invite bids from eligible bidders for implementation of the works in accordance with the bidding document for the Nevis Geothermal Wells drilling project. That is according to Premier the Honorable Mark Brantley. The geothermal project, as we know, has been proceeded in a pace. Uh, we had indicated that the bidding process on the production well drilling phase, that that had been extended to the 9th of March. Uh, that has been since further extended to the 9th of April. And so we are waiting for those bids. As indicated before, the response has been overwhelming. And the CDB has indicated that consistent with the guidelines for bids, those people showing an interest, some of them had questions and needed clarification and therefore they extended the time frame to allow them an opportunity to provide that clarification. And so uh, the 9th of April is the new date and we will have something, of course, to report to you shortly thereafter as we try to move forward with this particular uh, development, which is transformative. That's the word we have been using for the island of Nevis. The works include drilling of three production wells and two re-injection wells at the Hamilton site in Nevis. Contractors are required to bid on all four lots of the project with the intention of signing a single integrated contract. Bidders from all countries are eligible to participate. The bidding document may be obtained by making a request by email to the address geothermal at nevlek.com. Requests must be clearly marked in the email subject line request for bidding document for the Nevis Geothermal Energy Project drilling program along with the name, address and contact information of the bidder for which the bidding document is being requested. No fee will be charged for the bidding document. And that's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing.